Welcome to this Wound Club online education module on moisture associated skin damage or MASD, which forms part of a series of modules you can access online to develop your knowledge and understanding around wound management and skin care. Today, we will be discussing moisture associated skin damage or MASD. Now, I'm hoping after this brief five minute module, you will be able to define what is MASD and identify the four different types of MASD based on different types of etiologies. Moisture associated skin damage is an umbrella term for the four types of MASD. It is defined as the inflammation and erosion of the skin caused by prolonged, take note of the word prolonged, exposure to various sources of moisture. That includes urine or stool, perspiration, wound exudate, mucus or saliva. It is generally accepted that MASD consists of four distinct conditions, each having a slightly different etiology, namely incontinence associated skin dermatitis, intertriginous dermatitis, peri wound moisture associated dermatitis, peristomal irritant contact dermatitis. Now it is important that you distinguish between the four conditions to ensure appropriate prevention and management. The first type of MASD I would like to discuss with you today is incontinence associated dermatitis or I will be referring to as IAD for the duration of the session. IAD is defined as an erythema, an inflammation of the skin, caused by prolonged contact with the skin to urine and feces. It typically presents, as I mentioned earlier, as an inflammation of the skin surface. Now, these are characterized by redness and in some cases, swelling and blister formation. Let us now look at the second type of MASD, named intertriginous dermatitis. Now, I don't know about you, but I find this quite challenging to pronounce. Luckily, it is also known as intertrigo, and I will be using this terminology for the duration of the presentation. Now, intertrigo is defined as an inflammatory condition occurring in skin folds, induced or aggravated by heat, moisture, maceration, friction and lack of air circulation. This is frequently complicated by infection, most commonly with yeast, candida, or the bacterial, viral or other fungal infection may also occur. Obese people are more at risk of intertrigo due to excessive skin folds, increased perspiration to regulate their body temperature. The third type of MASD to discuss is peri wound moisture associated dermatitis. Now, I have seen this type of skin damage in my own clinical practice. Um, it is generally caused by a wound producing high volume of exudate causing overhydration of the skin, leading into maceration. It is also worth knowing that wound exudate contains proteolytic enzymes, with exudate from chronic wounds having a much higher level of these enzymes, and its contact with peri-wound skin can damage the skin and may even cause wound expansion. Another factor may affect the occurrence of this type of skin damage is an aggressive removal of adhesive wound dressings, causing skin stripping. Therefore, I advise you to take extra care when removing wound dressings with strong adhesives. So, the last type of MASD that is left for us to discuss is peristomal irritant contact dermatitis. This type of MASD can happen as a result of a poor seal around the stoma or a pouch, allowing stool or urine to collect under the device, causing detrimental damage to the skin. To check your knowledge and understanding, try and answer the following questions.
Well done! We have now completed this bite-sized module. Take the time to reflect on what you have learned today and apply it into your daily practice. Please click on the link in the description below to go to the full 15-minute version of the MASD module, wherein I will be discussing some of the treatment and management. Once this is completed, you will have the opportunity to download NMC revalidation forms. Thank you for your time today. Please remember to look at the other sections to access additional modules to help you on your learning journey.